Hello, welcome to Radical Academy, and uh, this is uh, Professor Wana Mike. And uh, in this video, we are going to solve this question. As you can see on the screen, uh, this is calculus, and uh, we are looking at uh, integration. So, as you can see, the question says, find the integral of 3x power 3 divided by 2 minus 5x plus 1 over 2, 1 over x squared. Okay, so this is x squared with respect to x. Now, one of the most important things that you need to understand on integration is that uh, the power of each term in this function will actually increase by 1. But of course, you have to ensure that uh, this part, which is, a, which is a fractional part, we have to deal with that one. So when you look at uh, the laws of indices, and uh, uh, by the way, for those to be subscribed so that uh, you don't miss any single update from us, the Radical Academy. So uh, if you have something like that, uh, let's say you have 1 to the power x squared. So this is when you apply the laws of indices, this is just uh, the power we can convert it back to the negative index. So it will just be like that. So this power 1 implies that uh, that's a negative index. Okay, so uh, in, in when you are looking at integration, the first thing that you do is you use this symbol. Okay, so this symbol means integrate, and then we put that one as three x to the power three divide by two minus five x. Okay, a uh, plus. And this now, this part is just going to be written like this so that uh, we understand how the power moving about. So plus uh, x to the power negative 2, then close the bracket, dx. Okay. So what's going to happen now is that um, this now, we can now differentiate it properly. Okay. So what you need to understand that the power of every term in this function is going to be increased by 1, and that total power is just going to be like um, um, also as a denominator. Okay, so what I would like to show you is that uh, if I have, for example, 3x to the power 3, for example, um, if I'm integrating this one uh, with uh, respect to x, and this is just going to be uh, the power will increase by 1. So this will be 3x to the power uh, 3 plus 1 divided by this total power uh, 3 plus 1. And this is just the same as saying uh, 3x to the power 4 over 4. Now, whenever you are integrating, you have to ask yourself, is this the definite integral or indefinite? So indefinite, uh, where you don't have the limits, so you have to add the C, which is uh, the constant. Okay, then you are done. So this is how you are going to perform even for that one. Okay, so we are going to say now that um, we are going to say that, uh, let me just uh, rewrite this. Uh, okay, so... 3x to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 5x uh, plus x to the power negative 2, close the bracket, and then the x. So this simply means that uh, respect, okay, respect to x. So if respect to x. So now what is going to happen now is that uh, this we are going to say 3x to the power 3 plus 1. Then there is an over here 2. Then you are going to say this total power 3 plus 1, you divide by that, okay, plus 1. And this is going to be, and this one is a power 1 there, okay. So it's going to be 5x to the power 1 plus 1 over this total power which is 1 plus 1 and for this one it's just going to be 
uh, plus uh, x to the power negative 2 plus 1 over this total power negative 2 plus 1. Okay. And from there now, what you're going to do is uh, we can now simplify this part uh, 3x and then it will be power 4 divided by uh, 2 over 4. Okay. And minus uh, 5x to the power 2 over 2 plus so negative negative 2 plus 1 is just negative 1. So this will give us x to the power negative 1 over negative 1. Okay, so now we need to simplify this part. Now when you're simplifying the fractional part, what you're supposed to do is just a bit of uh, algebraic uh, fractional simplification. So we have, we are more like saying, uh, this uh, 3 uh, x to the power 4 uh, over 2 okay divide by so this is a uh, divide by 4 and this is just over 1 and this is going to be 3 x to the power 4 over 2 then you change this becomes times 1 over 4 okay and this is going to be 3 x to the power 4 so this this times 1 and at the bottom 2 times 4 is 8 okay and this is what you are going to actually write there okay so now from there again we say uh, this is uh, 3 x to the power 4 okay and uh, over 8 over 8 minus uh, 5 okay 5 to over 2 to the power this plus okay so now we can simply say can convert this back to uh, this is a uh, x to the power 1 is the same as now 1 over x okay so this is going to be uh, 1 over negative x okay and now to finalize this one we're now going to say uh, 3 x to the power 4 divided by 8 minus 5 over 2 x to the power 2 this negative can go into that it will be just in x minus 1 over x and now once at the final stage you need to add the c so c normally is just uh, the the constant okay the constant so the constant should always be added there you need to add the constant okay and this is uh, the answer okay so thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next uh, video it's bye bye thank you so much